So now we're going to take a look at the final example for tonight. This is another fun example that illustrates the use of Java suppliers, which is another functional interface, and using them in conjunction with a very interesting class called the optional class. And it'll basically be used to print a default value, a default result, if a key is not found in a map. So here's the program. We're going to make a new hash map that's going to be initialized with beings and their disposition. So a demon might be naughty, an angel might be nice, a wizard might be wise. Of course, those of you who are Lord of the Rings fans knows that wizards are not always as wise as they might pretend to be or purport to be. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this map and we're going to iterate through every element in it and we're going to print out the contents initially. So we have a method reference to a method called print disposition and that takes each being and their disposition from the map and prints them out. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put another name which is going to be a being that is not in the map. And what we're going to do in that case is we're going to look up in the map using the get method. We're going to say, hey, hey, map, is there a being named demigod by any chance? And of course, there is not one. So get will return null. But rather than litter our code with all kinds of checks to see if nulls were returned, instead what we're going to do is we're going to use the optional class and it's of nullable factory method. And what of nullable does is it takes the parameter that's passed to it. And if it's non-null, it makes an optional whose value is present, which of course would be the disposition of that particular being. However, if the map, if the of nullable method is passed a null, it makes an optional that has no value. It's an empty value or an absent value. So in that case, there is no value associated with the optional. But the key thing to note about with optional is that once you make an optional, it's never null. So you don't have to worry about null pointers. You, you should no longer get null pointer exceptions if you use the optional features properly. So what we're then going to do is we're going to call the print disposition method passing in the being, which would be in this case, demigod. And then we're going to use a very interesting helper method on the optional called or else get. And what or else get does is it says, if this optional is not empty, return the value. But if optional is empty, then use the supplier parameter passed here as the result that gets returned. So if we pass demigod and demigod is not known on the map, then it'll print out the string unknown. So let's go ahead and run the code. And you can see what it does. And uh, as you can see, the disposition of demon is naughty. The disposition of angel is nice. Our disposition for wizard is wise, but our disposition of demigod is unknown because it didn't have any mapping in the map. It had no value associated with that key in the map. So get return null, but we turned that into an optional so it wouldn't end up having to require null pointer checks throughout the code. So that's the end of that example.